Nick Cannon mornings on Power 106. Uh, it's time for those up close and personal conversations uh, with people that I admire, that I look up to, that are fixtures in the game. And these gentlemen are all the above and so much more. Usually it's one-on-one conversations, but this is different. This is a special moment because these guys, I feel like not only is this like family, I, I grew up with these guys. It's like a, like a, a reunion yeah, yeah, sure. type of vibe. High school <laughs> reunion. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, for real. It's now, are we, is it immature or IMX? It's immature. 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 Yeah, that's yes, what we're going with. There it is, man. Salute, King, man. Come on, y'all. Nick, appreciate Kel, it. Appreciate Ron, it. No. come on, man. <laughs> this is what it is. So, man, let's get to it. I don't, first of all, this is a special moment because I don't think I've seen a radio interview with y'all three in years. I, I would say this is our first one on like a camera as a, type a radio thing. interview together in like... <laughs> We can go back. We can keep going years. back. <laughs> 18 years. Might be 20. Might, Might be, 20. be. Maybe 20 years. Immature has not done a radio yeah, interview. Yeah. Why? In a minute. I mean, you know, just everybody doing their thing and, and uh, different careers, different lifestyles. And, you know, we always stay cool. We always friends. But, you know, yeah. the business kind of just, you know, me and Rome do the film film uh, company, the film yeah. business. While well, I'm doing this the, thing, yeah, the uh, marijuana industry, farm, as, you should. <laughs> as you should, as you, know, you should, doing this thing. So, so everybody just, so everybody still get money. Everybody yeah, still man. in yeah. touch with each other. Everybody yeah. still love. Always. But now y'all back on the road. Immature is back together. Yeah, Woo. yeah. And is it obviously is that because you saw the success of the Millennium Tour? Well, yeah, like um, you know, uh, Kel was explaining. Like, so the Millennium Tour was very successful. We, yeah. uh, Boog, J. Boog, he actually it works with the film company footage films with, with me and Rome. So he was like, you know, he was like, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. He was like, everybody's asking for Immature. Like, you yeah. know, Immature should have been on the tour. And we was like, okay, cool. So he kind of like put the whole thing together. Broke yeah. the deal, made it happen. And he was like, are y'all with it? And we was like, you know, at first it was like, you know, we don't know. We kind of yeah, just like, in different places. Yeah. And, you know, my man right here. <laughs> <laughs> Was like, you know, he was like, oh, I don't know, man. I'm yeah, but, I just felt yeah. like it got to be right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it got to be right. right. <laughs> so, so yeah, we put it together, and it's just like, you know, it's, it's, it's on. That's Because I would say probably the last time we got down probably was the Scream, scream Tour. Yeah, yeah when you, you hosted yeah. the Scream so Tour. So it was just like, us. yeah, us, how we used to do it. And it was, it was a certain type of energy. Yep. And it was weird because we was on the Scream Tour during the time where it was like, I felt like, we almost kind of transcend generations in yeah, a bit because yeah, there is yeah. like the B2K. Those. Gen- we was always, they big yeah, bro. That's right, true. Right, but yep. people kind of kind of bundled us together. together yeah, it, because we kind of, you know, we was around for a minute. Right. Yep, yep. So to see the love that they got, yeah. even me, I was like, oh, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that. them days, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was live. Yeah, it was so live. like to know that, that that love and that, you know, all of our fans who were, Young girls yeah. then are grown yep. women now. That's true. And I, I see why y'all going back to it, but is it one of those things where it's like, how getting the band back together? Like, we all done seen the Temptation movie <laughs> like, in the rehearsal, niggas' knees hurt and stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would have to say it's a little bit of that. You, when you, when you like, you know, it's like everybody say, oh, you know, you, it's like riding a bike. Once you get on that bike, you never forget. But, you know, that when your knees, right. <laughs> <laughs> your knees hurt a little bit. I mean, you and you want to give the fans the greatest show yeah. possible. Exactly, exactly. Because we see some of these guys go out there, these little casino R and B shows. Sometimes you're like, man, yeah. I, I don't want to <laughs> see them like that. Yeah. But see, that was the beauty of when I saw the Millennium Tour. Like everybody was getting, they was getting, yeah, they was, it was, it was, it was, they was putting on a show. They was. So it's like y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get so out we there. Get, yeah, man. It's gonna be the crazy ass immature outfits again. Are we gonna be seeing all of that? Cause outfits. y'all was known for the outfits. No, we, we got some outfits. Yeah. We definitely got some outfits. <laughs> y'all, like are y'all gonna be matchy matchy again? Not matchy matchy. Because <laughs> oh, see the thing, the, the thing is now, you know, when you, when you get a little older and stuff like that, you know, Rome got his style, Kel got his style, I got I got yeah. my style. So it'll be our different personalities mixed in with our clothes, but it's still gonna, you know, it's still gonna coordinate. Right. coordinate. Right, right, right. And I wanted to, I just want to go back because we talking about back in the day for a yeah. minute. And this to me, obviously, this is an honor. This is actually I'm, I'm having a good time I want to take my time with this because not only do I consider y'all truly and when I say family I don't say family like oh that's my brother but like yeah, yeah. when you feel like people that you grew up with yep. not only that it was like yo I have memories with these guys that's true but it's also like I have respect and admiration for how y'all move and I think man. a lot of things like people never had the opportunity to uh, to know one how talented y'all are and, and in the business yeah. like how you guys 
broke barriers, stepping into the world of film, doing yeah. all those things. And yeah. then people forget, like we in this ADD generation now. That's true. Yeah. So people, they forget people forget so everything from House Party 3 yeah. to, to, to all from your vibes with Sister Sister to yeah. to all of the albums. to, yeah. to a lot of the times that we put B2K together yeah. as our group. Right, and that yeah. was y'all group. Yeah. I remember yeah. when y'all yeah. put B2K together, yeah. I was like, how one guy group gonna put another, <laughs> another guy group? <laughs> and the fact that like B2K was y'all family, like those yeah. used to be the little yeah. kids the little homies. around yep. that we would just be like, yo, what they doing? Like, yep. I remember I was telling uh, uh, Marion one day, like when he did the little cereal commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the pops. Oh, I remember when he did the, 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 the uh, I wanna be pops. like Puff song, <laughs> yeah. like, like stuff like that. Where yeah. he been out here as a kid. Yep. Trying to get it, yeah. and and to know that you guys always had a studio jumping off, always was making a yeah. movie, and still doing it still to this day. Yeah. Uh, but people don't know. Why don't you think you get the credit for all of that type of stuff? You know what I mean. We we sit and talk about that personally a lot. You know, there's a lot of trends that we started back in the day. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that you don't get credit for. But see, see me personally, I've never really been a credit person. I don't believe that <clears throat> credit is important. I believe that if you can be a part of something. Like I've I've sat and I've talked and I'm not gonna name drop or nothing like that, yeah. but I've sat and I've talked to artists that are big now that'll say, you know, when I heard Never Lie, like that's what made me want to sing. Yeah. And what? there's 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 like so now <clears throat> trying to grow my hair. <laughs> you know, so I mean that's the payoff for for me. It's it's not a, like I said, it's not about the credit, but just knowing that you can be part of something that was big. Even you got served, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, uh, no, yeah, doing like, you got served that completely. Just, created a whole craze of dance shows and mm-hmm. dance movies and this and that. Yeah. And it's just like just to know that you that you were able to be a part of something so so big and something as far as in culture and yeah. black, black culture and history and the, the fact that Immature was was that you think of the groups you think of New Edition you think of Immature you think of B2K and to be in that that conversation is just it's a blessing. But let's talk about yeah. that too. like how did Immature come together because I know a lot of people may not know Yeah, and, it, and the thing is a People like even the web that that you guys have created, like the connections everywhere from Janae Aiko to Brandy to, yeah. to like yeah. so many people in yeah. the game, and even like y'all pin and all yeah. that stuff has touched culture since the '90s. Like, where did it? Where's the nucleus? Where did it all start? <laughs> well, um, Stokes was starting a group back in the day. Rome was one of the original members. Uh, they found me. And then it, it was me and Rome and like a couple of other members back in the day. Right. And then uh, <laughs> they, they didn't pan out. Right, so right. So me and Rome stayed in the group. And then uh, I think it was um, Half Pint. Yeah. I went to school with Half Pint. That's a dude in, in House Party 3? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, House Party 3. Yeah. Asian guy. He, I went to school with Half Pint. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I, I got my, my boy, you know what I'm saying? I go to school and he he with it, you know what I'm saying? So that was that. Was that Kel lived down the street from me. Oh, okay. And then, so, <clears throat> originally, before Half Pint, it was supposed to be Kel. I went down, I literally walked down the street, and this is just, just stories that people don't really know. I walked down the street to Kelvin's house. He was at a, a, a what's it, a, 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 a baseball game. Oh, wow. So, he wasn't home. So, I was right. like, oh, my boy Kel wasn't home. So, I'm gonna <laughs> go to Half Pint. So, then, so, oh, dang. that's what happened. So, then, you he, out playing baseball, <laughs> you missed the whole first <laughs> run of Immature. Yeah, yeah. I really love yeah, baseball. Yeah, he loved baseball. I, mean, I never knew anything about the group before then anyway, because he was coming to present the opportunity and all y'all from at the la area yeah yep, yeah yeah so and then so then he he was in the band and things didn't work out with half pine we was like just move kelton up to the to the front yeah because you was the drummer in yep. the band yeah, right yep. that's how the little then, drummer boy you know, ray j y'all got ray, yeah ray j was the in the band you yeah. know we we uh at, at the talent show like uh brandy we did a talent show with brandy at the palace at the palace right and, and she'll argue to this day that she won Right, <laughs> right. But but we won the talent show, yes. right? And uh, so that's how we met Brandy. Chris, you know, got her deal at Atlantic. Nobody right. knows that. that. I always tell people because well, yeah. I don't know how. Because I don't know how much of that. Like, because you guys are always so humble. Yeah. But I always people don't know that yeah. Chris Stokes put Brandy yeah, he on. He put Brandy yeah. on. He got her deal at Atlantic and everything like that. And then we did the band. Ty Dollar was in our band. Yeah, everybody yeah. like Ty Dollar. That's, like, that's the homie from back in the day. Yeah, people used to think Rome and Ty was brothers. Yeah, so you know what still I'm saying? do. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, and because I, I, obviously everybody knows that you was always rocking the patch and everything. Yeah. And there was the rumor that Brandy did that. Was that true? Or is that how that really? Yeah, worked? no, that's that's a that's a true story. Really? Yeah. No, nah, see, I always I, and I know y'all. <laughs> yeah. Because it was always like, yo, don't, nobody really talk about it. Everything like accident when yeah. we was kids. So so, so tell me, tell me the story. Should have listened. Being, <laughs> being 
So you and Brandy was horsing around? It was all of us. Her, really? And Chris told us, like, hey, everybody chill out. We had just did a performance for... The Lou Rawls Telethon. <laughs> that's what Halftime was remember. doing the group. Yeah. <laughs> Lou Rawls Telethon. That's when we Just did. horsing around, playing. Yeah. And he told us, like, hey, everybody clean up. Your parents are on their way to pick you up. Just chill out. Yep. You know we didn't listen. Yeah. Hey, so I was at a family barbecue. I, I was playing. I was cleaning up though. I was actually the one yeah. that was cleaning up. Right. And and then uh, I, I walked in the room or something like that. Yeah. He. Yeah. Uh, she had. Uh, uh, her and Half Pint had got into it. Okay. She got up. I got up and just kind of like just. She had a book in her hand. Just tossed it back. Just tossed it back. Not thinking right. anyone was. I was that close. And it uh, cut my retina. Dang. Yeah. Detached it. Dang, that's crazy. And the the yeah. lens to my eye had fell out. And Damn. actually, Brandon Adams had caught it. He was actually there with us. Brandon yeah, Adams. Brandon Adams. Adams. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he was there. Yep. So he's in there holding my lens. He's not knowing what's going on. Wow. Mark come in, and we trying to hide it. So yeah, they were trying to hide it from me. So I came in. I'm like, what's going on? Rome is on the bed, like, kind of like, like Chris. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what's, what's oh going on? God. And Rome was like, nothing, nothing, nothing. And Brandy was like, well, he don't want to get me in trouble. Like, it's nothing or whatever. So I, I immediately went and got Chris. I was like, Chris, something happened to Rome. He came in there. He's like, "What's going on?" They they told us like they was like, "Yeah, dude, it was an accident." Took Rome to the hospital, and you know, dang, that's that's a, that's yeah. a crazy story because I we yeah. I, that was always like one of those urban tales that yeah. people like, did yeah. that really happen? Because even for a minute, people thought again they thought yeah, the yeah. eye patch was like just a just fashion a, thing, yeah. yeah, and and that like you really, oh yeah, it was it was really it was, it was, it was serious. Had like a, a couple of corrective surgeries and all kind of stuff. It wow, was, man, yeah. that's that. Hey, that's one of them great stories that people don't know about. And again, going back to it, like. Just how much immature means yeah. to to the industry, man. Yeah, and I yeah. think I think again, you guys got to get your flowers. Why why we all still here? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Because and I think sometimes like cats. I don't know. I mean, I'm the same way. I mean, we all been around this. Is like people don't know how hard we work That's and true. the different moves that That's we got to make to to even stay in it, even behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, and I would even go to you like acting, man. Like you yeah. you obviously still doing it, but all the way from like. Bebe's kids, yeah, and, and Bebe's kids. Was that was that first? That was the first thing. That you was did. the first thing I ever did when I when I first got in the group. Um, Stokes was friends with with a casting director, Eileen Knight. Right, right. She's the one that casted Bebe's kids. So he was like my friend. You know what I'm saying? I want to you know put you with my friend. She's a casting director. Go in for this this role. I went in for it. the first audition I ever did. I booked it. Right. So I was like, oh cool, I'm about to be in the movie. You know, we did the, the cartoon movie, and that's when I met Faison, and you know we we did Bebe's kids. We did the soundtrack. Right. Know? Yep. I, I, I like y'all, man. Y'all back then too. <laughs> we was like eight or nine back That's then. That's crazy. Yep. And then from then we, I did sister sister, and then went on to do, you know. And now how was that always, man? Like, this is one thing I always wanted to talk about because I know y'all, and we, you know, kind of yeah. all came up together. Yeah. There's a perception, uh -huh. and especially when people like in the industry, and then there's your real life. Yeah. yeah. And when you're in the industry, a lot of people don't think you're real. That's At the end of the day, they don't think they don't think like like you cast that grew up in Southern California. And yeah, like, right. or, or you you might have had silver spoons in your mouth and all of that. <laughs> yeah, not knowing nah. that, like, and I I know y'all for real, so I know like y'all lives and families. And yeah. not only do I know that you guys have gone through some real hardships yeah. and overcome them and still do it with a smile. Yeah, but John, like some real niggas right there. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, yeah. just and yeah, and, like we. I mean, wrong from Venice. Yeah, Me and Cal grew up on Brianhurst, right, right by Crenshaw. Yeah, Slauson, you know, it's Crenshaw, Crenshaw and Slauson. That's that's where we grew up. It, yeah, it's just but, some hood kids. Yeah, you know, right. And our the ghetto. Everybody has the same story of that struggle of yeah. that growing up. Like, For sure. Cause I know, like I get it all the time too. Like, oh, we done seen you. When they like, nah, nigga, I'm looking like, yeah, yeah you know, you don't know. We yeah. everything. There's there's no difference. It's just that. We kind of figured it out. Yeah, right? that's true. And we've allowed entertainment to kind of allow us to go. So again, like on the same time, I'm giving you all your accolades at the same time, just as men. Yeah, you know what I mean. And and, and that's because I I mean I know you just recently got married. Kids engage, 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 engage. Engaged, 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 not not married, saying, not yet, not yet. All right, engage. But, come, but it's coming. But I'm saying, <laughs> as men, like, are are you guys? Families, uh, kids, and I'm nope. the only one with a gang of kids. Yeah, you, you probably <laughs> you the, the only one, one you, you that right, right now. <laughs> yeah. that, you know, that got the kids. But uh, even, but I'm saying, as a to be a successful, like yeah. to go from a a kid, yeah, yeah themselves, and then to make it. I, I think it's more important, it. and and that's what people don't realize about 
becoming a man, growing up in the industry, I think it's more important to be a man than it is to be an artist and to be mm. what, what you portray out there to the people. Because once you get to our age, like I'm 38, 39, yeah, I'll yeah, be almost yeah. 40, like things just, different priorities become different. Yeah. You know, your priority as a man and your family and the people that you have to take care of, that becomes your priority. So, so you do what you have to do in order to take care of the people that you love. Yeah. And that's more important than your, your public image. You start just not caring about like what people think about you, what people say about you. Because yeah, like, right. if you don't know me, I really don't care. What, I've yeah. always been like that anyway. Like If you, if you don't Me-so. sit and eat at my table every day and you don't know who I am, right. you can't really say nothing. Do you have yeah. to do that? Because obviously, like I said, from everything from, from day one, man, like, yeah. I, mean, I deal with the same thing all the time. You hear rumors and people yeah. make things up yeah, and then huh. they always say this like I was like yo a, a lie can go around the world three times before the truth get a chance to put his shoes on for sure for sure and it's like at some point you can't even manage it no more because yeah. you're like I was if enough people say it then that, the world, think it's, the world true. thinks it's true exactly. and, and so you're a better man than me because <laughs> and, I, and that's even one of the reasons why I had his mic every morning because I'm like, yo, somebody say some shit about me, I'm going I'm to yeah, address it. Address I'm going to yeah. talk about it. So at least, truth or not, I got to live my truth. Yeah. But to be able to step back, and I know a lot of other people say, man, well, if if it doesn't affect my inner circle and my real family, I don't need to address yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm different. <laughs> I, yeah. I got to talk about it yeah. because otherwise it's just going to eat me alive because yeah. I want people to understand the truth. Well, That's you're true. definitely in the public eye all the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You really have to address the situation on on your situation because yeah. out here you have to see. And that's it. like as someone with kids and stuff now cuz yeah. like my kids yeah. is googling stuff like my right. son saw no, something true. my son saw something the other day um mad random like for I think Christina Milian did an interview uh-huh. and uh she was talking and she said like yo she she went through my phone and saw all this stuff with <laughs> yeah, chicks and yeah, all this yeah, stuff yeah. and it was like i was a player back in the yeah, day right. it went viral i dressed we talked about it yeah. and my son's just on his ipad on google and he showed he's like dad what's this how does this girl get your phone and like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like and then he literally yeah. said to me he was like dad when i grow up i'm not gonna be a player like you and i was like oh, oh like yeah, all right hold up like first of all yes you are <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but I had to like yeah, address yeah. it because one he doesn't understand the time. No, that's so true. So he's thinking this happened to, like yesterday, yesterday. Right. Yeah. and I'm I was like, no, this was before your mom. Yep. You know right. what I mean? Yep. Like this was, I I was 21, 22. Yeah. We were dating. I was this. You know, I met your yep. mom ten years later, type yeah. of vibe. Right. And then now me and your mom not together because they were literally at dinner. Me yeah. and mom. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the crazy thing is because the, the way it all happened, he actually had. <laughs> he, Katy Perry was at Nobu, came to the table, and he yeah. has like a crush on Katy Perry. Uh, and he's yeah. like, I kind of like Katy Perry. <laughs> and he's like, I should have told her. And I was like, yeah. Nah, you played it like. He's eight. He, yeah. He's like, you played it. You played it like a play. Like, I'm not gonna be a player like you, dude. I'm not gonna have girls going through my phone. And I was like, and Mariah just looking at me like, see. Yeah, yeah. But it's like those so. And no, I just got to address that because even with my kids, yeah. like they're going to Google stuff. They're going to see true. stuff. Yeah. Because we're in that era now. Like, see, when we were coming up, you didn't have Instagram. You didn't have Google. Yeah. You didn't have none of that. Like, and our the, parents the, wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, I mean, the, like the, the, only, the only yeah. gossip really you got was like, I think it was the Inquirer back then. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was little it. Little tabloids that was tabloid and stuff and like that. got that. That was like, that was, was it. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's so real. nowadays, you got camera phones. You got people snapping pictures. You got everything is all on social media. You got blog sites. You got everybody that who, who now, you know, before were fans, now has an opinion. So now you're, you find yourself, and this is what's difficult as an artist from our generation to this generation you find yourself trying to please too many people right and before as an artist you put out the stuff and if people liked it they loved it and the people that didn't they didn't but nowadays you find yourself because of all these you know even instagram you put a picture you got all these comments and everybody you know voicing their opinion right everybody has an opinion everybody has this to say or that to say you really just don't know and right y'all was all commenting on somebody else's life somebody else's life that but that's the that's know. the culture now yeah that like even they only have to do with fame that, yeah. People just, yeah. everything. that was the one thing that i had to take into consideration coming back into this situation as far as uh doing a group was, yeah yeah what's going on today the camera phones and all yeah. that stuff everything is being watched and that wasn't happening like that back in the day yeah. no, they had the little snapshots so you had to wait 
You had to wait. Film, yeah. Developed or, yeah. You know, even even a show, even a tour, you had to go see the tour. Like yeah. nowadays, yeah. you, do you just one watch show, it. Yeah. It's all on YouTube. You and, show, it's a rap. It's yeah. Like, it's, they think that's how you are on every show. And it yeah. can be water on the stage. It can be so many different things. <laughs> yeah. Like, you never. So many times where I fell on stage, <laughs> oh, I got a roll of quarters. Oh, man. Random, out the them. blue. Damn. Nobody caught it. Yeah. It's on TV. Yeah. They're holding my head like, this nigga threw a roll of quarters. Like, he played for the Dodgers. God damn. Damn. Yeah, but it, yeah, now it, that's that's a viral moment. Yeah, you know, yep. and 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 interestingly enough, because you touched on some things too. I know you, uh, super spiritual brother too, yeah, yeah. and being an artist, and even as we know, we probably in some of the 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 darkest times, times that sure. or at least they're exposed yeah, right yeah. now, and it's yeah. all out in the front. How do you manage like your well, spirituality? That, that's, that's very that's very difficult because you know. I never want to, I don't really talk too much about it. I, I'm very public with my spirituality and everything like that and what I believe because I'm proud of what I believe. Right. But, you know, there's there's also another thing that people don't understand. There's a job, there's contracts that you have to commit to right. as well. So you, you, I just kind of try to find that balance of Facts. trying to, you know, not allow my job to define who I am. Mm. But, but allow myself and who I am spiritually, who I am as a man, define what I do. And this is a job. It's just like if, if somebody like has a spiritual belief, but they work at Target. Right. Same thing. Right. Or if you're a janitor, same thing. You know, that's what your job entails. You you have to do your job. And you have to do a job, and, and that's what my job is. My job is that, and then my personal life is who I am personally. But right. I still can't allow certain things I do in my job to then – contradict what I believe. Yeah. So this is belief. all about balance. Right. Yeah. And then and you deal with that daily. Um so that kind of going to the balance aspect of it. Yeah. Knowing that you guys are going back out on the road. Yeah. Immature. Um and then I think we I, I dealt with this growing up. Yeah. And even I feel like that might have been a little bit of the immature to IMX transition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How much of growth or how much of the energy of like look I'm not who I was in the past, or I'm a grown ass man yeah. now. <clears throat> Deal with me as a grown ass man, because I know people come. Hey, love, don't call today. Like, hey, yeah, chill out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my kids, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's no, like that, that so. Is, there's the, because they want to see immature. That's they want to see the outfits. They want to see the little yeah. boys. Yeah, that they knew. yeah, that's but true. We grown but ass we grown men now. So it's a little different. how do you do? Looks, where's the balance of like I'm gonna give you immature, but nigga, like, no, it's. You know, it's, we it's actually different. feed off of their energy. Actually, right. So if they if has there ever been a time where somebody just crossed the line? Because I know it happens to me. I I literally have to line check people all the time. I, yeah, right. people cross I think the line. More every so day. for Marcus because it's sister sister. The sister sister stuff, like so it, it always gets. I mean, always, how do you deal with that? Like, we, go home, Roger. All the time, and I'm like, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, I get it because right. I, I don't want to ever. Look at what I somebody's childhood. Past. They yeah. love and, you for and that. And be like, nah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going because I, I I get it. I yeah. get it. You know what? You know they might be excited in the moment. I get go home. Roger yelled to me probably on an average like 20, 30 times a day. <laughs> Where, <laughs> right. Wherever somebody I go, gonna catch somebody. <laughs> must, and and then like even even more recently now it seems like it's getting worse right. and I don't know why maybe Same because, because it's 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 people it. see it more it's a whole yeah. new generation it's a whole new generation, generation that know that so I'm like you know and I get it but there's there's sometimes where people will cross a line where, you, where you're doing something or I may be on the phone handling business or something I may be out right. or I be, may be out with my fiance and we're really trying to have that intimate time together and right. we're out with our friends and we, right. and somebody just comes up and it's like you know you not, I, I don't want to ever be rude right. because even even that that can that can backfire on me because because of my spirituality as well. So I have to take all of these things in, into consideration and say, you know, this is a person that doesn't know me. Right. This is a person that doesn't know anything. So that if they're just coming up being being excited or they want to take pictures and stuff like that, you kind of like it, it goes back to the balance. You kind of like you know want to say, oh yeah, I might take one. Or if I'm eating, I'll be like, you know, just wait till I'm done. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. But long as it's respectful. Yeah, long as it's respectful. But I mean, sometimes people will get disrespectful. Yeah. You just gotta be like, as a man, you have to hold on. This like thing, I'm a know? grown man, yeah, right? Man, I'm, not, I'm not twelve. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really talk to me like that. There was yeah. a woman we were shooting. Um, we have a new uh, series with BET that we, that we did um, called Sacrifice. We were shooting out in New Orleans. And this, this person came up to me and said something really, really rude. And I just looked at her like, was that, like, necessary? Like, right. what, what's the point of that? Like, you know, she's like, don't be rude to your fans. 
And she was just walking by, and I was walking in a whole different, different direction. direction. And I didn't even see her. She's like, don't be rude to your fans. I was like, well, I, how was I being rude? I didn't even see you. Right. You know, at that point, as a man, I'm like, you can't just yell at me. Like, right. You know, right. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't just, work for you. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, so it, it gets a little, but I, I I try for the most part to just kind of But like, that's why I always know you guys have always been humble, wholehearted dudes. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of times because we might be the good guys – you don't get the the admiration yeah. or the respect oh, yeah. as you, as you should because like nah we cool we chill, right. but the the guys that's always that's loud like, rah rah and yeah, rah rah yeah. those are the ones that do yep. get those looks. So I don't know I I, I I go back and forth with it with my own. That's why like I feel like it's dope that I get to talk to guys that kind of you know understand my own inner struggles. Yeah, but. It goes to, again, that public perception. What is it that you guys never get an opportunity to say, look, this is who I really am. Or I wish people knew this about immature. I wish people knew this about our story, about who we really are as men. Um, Damn, I wish I had time to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good Because I, I ask myself that every morning before I crack the mic. Like, yo, if this is my opportunity to let people know who I really am. Yeah. People think this, yeah. and it's yeah. always a pleasant surprise. Like, oh yeah. shit, I didn't know you was. I didn't know that. Like, yep. because people think a certain way about entertainers. Well, at this, well, at this age with me, I really don't care. About it don't even matter. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, if the if it comes to where I need to address it, then I address it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like a public addresser or anything. But like you that. always been like yeah. low yeah. key, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. on everything. Even I, when when it was popping, you yeah, were just like, Kel oh. just like he just always chill. Me, I feel like. With, with me people people perceive and this is what I learned people are going to perceive and believe what they want you're never gonna regardless of how many times you know if somebody comes to you and says you're not Nick Cannon <laughs> right and they're and they believe look you're not Nick Cannon <laughs> you can sit and argue with them and right. say yes I am yeah, here's right. my license here and if they feel like no you're right then that's just what it is to them. Yeah, I said no matter how intelligent you are, you never go like, I, I, we uh, was, prove we it. Was in, we was a, in the a mall. We was, wrong. we was in the mall one day. <laughs> basically, yeah. you know what I'm saying. We was in the mall one day. It was all of us, and uh, I think Amari was with us. And uh, this 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 old guy walks up to me. He says, "Amarion." I said, "I'm not Amari." <laughs> He's like, "Yes, you are. You Amarion." I, I, I said, "No, I'm not actually." Omari's right here. <laughs> right. I tell Omari, come here. I was like, this is Omari. I'm Marcus Houston. We brothers or whatever. Yeah. He's like, he looks at me. He looks at, oh. He said, man, you jiving. And walked away. <laughs> he was that upset. Yeah. He was really upset. with me? Yeah, yeah basically. Like, like, how, how you going? And I was just like, that showed me right there. I'm like, you just, you can't, you can't. Yeah, now nah, people come to me all the time. And be like, man, anybody ever tell you you look just like Nick Cannon? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. People do that to me too. Like, like, yeah, I, for get real, every day. I get that all the time. You have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it, it's one of those things too, that because we're talking about perception again, people don't know, and I always want to say, like, the relationship between you and, and B2K, how are you guys? Because is everybody good? Is it not good? Actually, I, no. I mean, yeah. every, everything's not good. Mm. You know, um, Boog works with the company, so we talk to Boog all the time. I haven't, talk, I haven't talked to O in a minute. And it's not that it's bad or good. It's just... It just is everybody what it is. Apart. Everybody grew yeah. apart. Situation kind of split, just, you know. Yeah. They separate ways. Because, yeah. you know, that's what people going to want to see next. And it's so interesting that because... Every, their group, their, this their person dynamic, cool. I'm gonna tell you, their dynamic is is different. It's different too. It's very yeah. different. Yeah, they, the, like we are actually friends. <laughs> they at work. Yeah, they're yeah. coworkers. Yeah, because obviously, I mean, and it's, I got to talk about this stuff on on the morning stuff, but even like the stuff with Fizz and and all, I'll be like, how do y'all do that? Like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like I'm in, oh, I crack the mic like. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and because and hopefully you know we'll talk about it because those are my guys still to this day. Yeah, yeah, but it's just yeah. like. That's it's it's interesting, but again, like to what you said, when you go to work, this is my job. Yep. Yeah. But having to be, especially with people that you knew you grew up with, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. and, and and having to deal with that. So, I I hope, and I know the fans will hope that one day that everybody could could ever rock could rock together, together again. But do you think could, is that possible? Or is that I'm just open to anything? I'm I'm cool with everybody. Yeah, you to, always been cool with cool. everybody, no, and, and me too. I, like yeah. I, like I even said, we did love and hip hop, and I told but like I don't got beef with nobody. A lot of people sometimes they'll have beef with me. They have problems with me. I don't know why. I don't have any problems with anybody. You know what I'm out because you know? someone who's been in a similar situation uh, as you sometimes. I think a lot of times when you're also 
up here, but also the boss too. Yeah. Like, because a lot of people didn't know, like a lot, especially all y'all yeah. when putting yeah. the group together. Yeah. And and as big as B2K got and and I, your whole movement. Yeah. Honestly, but every you you were always one of the leaders in yeah. that sense to where I think I don't know. I, I this uh-huh. is just from the outside yeah, looking yeah. in. I know I've had to deal with people, whether it's groups that I've signed or even being a director or producer. It's yeah. like this might be your friend. But you gotta lay the law down. That's you true, gotta yeah. do the business. That's true. And a lot of that stuff could get in the way. Yeah. So I've been on that side of it. So as much as I want to say, yo, I'm cool with everybody. Yeah. I understand where somebody who may have been signed to me and their career didn't go the way that they wanted it to go. Oh, that happened. Yeah, might be time. upset with me all the time. All the time. Yeah. You know, you, you gotta think about that all the time because we can't control what the public is gonna like or dislike. Right. You know, we can only control. Like I will say, as far as contractual management, all of that stuff, money. We've always done business on the up and up. Us, right. Chris, always. That's why we've worked with Chris since I worked with Chris since I was nine. Right. Um, we have footage films together. We have a full, fully functional film company that's really hot, and, and we've built it from the ground up. We're doing movies. We have deals all over the place. And, you know, as as businessmen, we're, we're doing well. We're doing successful. Right. And sometimes, Super well. Well's an understatement. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, movie companies <laughs> and all the time. You know, so sometimes... It won't go an artist's way, right? You know, and and they may be they like you said they may feel some kind of way about that. So then they go away from the situation like oh they didn't do enough for my career or this and that, you know. But there's so many people that you know we've given opportunities to. I always I always talk to Chris about that. I'm like man, you don't understand all the people you've given opportunities to that we don't even really deal with. No I've more. learned from y'all model. I've actually I studied that model in that sense because I I don't know if it's if it's by design, yeah. but even when you know with artists like her and and Kaylani and stuff yeah. like that, those are people that you know were my artists. Yeah, wow. but I I I was like yeah I don't y'all don't need this I could be behind the scenes. Yeah. And y'all can grow, and I, I know you've been in that same situation yeah. many a times. But it is a thankless job at the end yeah. of the day because oh, yeah. true. people don't know. Yeah, no, people, they don't. Yeah, you know they what I mean. And and like, even even just and like, then, but know. is that because I was going because I know some of the artists, there's some yeah. of the artists that are popping now. Yeah, like is that by design? You don't want people to know because um, even like, those times I had conversations with Kaylani. Like, look, no, I don't. I think my brand actually might hurt, hurt your, brand. your brand. That's true. So I rather you do your tsunami mob and all yeah, of that yeah, yeah. and yeah. whatever you need we got you i got yeah. the deal all of that type yeah. of stuff but it's like you silently I, be signed i think to sometimes me. it's good to be silent and then yeah. sometimes it's good because like you you never want to you know so you don't want people to know the yeah, yeah. that I mean, the machine that they you operate under young machine have that to. movie uh the godfather yeah yeah the black godfather oh well, uh clarence Clarence Avon. When I oh. seen all of that, yeah. it all came, I was like, wow. Like, the respect level for what I knew he did yeah, yeah, yeah. was dope because it was never talked about. I yeah. never knew he, like, did all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, you, have, people, you, have to think, so. you have to think about, there's, there's people right now that are, like, huge, huge successful people. And and people don't, we always say, like, we're going to do a movie about it cause, and we're going to do our movie and see how many careers... <laughs> It's a bunch of them, like you know, because you don't know the the. the but even moments. like a lot of people didn't know about the tie dollar signs, yeah, stuff, you know or, I mean? or like, just the moments in life, yeah. that can really change history, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with, with in the beginning of us, like with Destiny Child, all the stuff we did with Destiny Child, yeah, whatever, like right in the like all of that, all joint. Of that stuff, yeah. You know, when, when Chris was you know helping Matthew with you know uh, with management ideas and stuff like that, people just don't know the 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 things that you have that that you've been a part of or behind the scenes with. And it's like you know they'll just think of these big artists out there, and they never they never know. Yeah. And you just be like, you know, okay, I'll well, take it. Yeah, yeah. I'll it's it cool. Out. But I think it's more so for an artist or the person to really say something more than like for you to really have to yeah. promote it, because yeah. more so like, and that's the part I think that you saying that almost sometimes hurts. Yeah, like, yeah I, nobody, I, thank I, the I, job. I can't get a thank you or a text to say <laughs> like, a, a good, personal call. Yeah, yeah. they be up on the awards thanking everybody. You be like, I introduced you to them people. You was thanking. You was in Oklahoma. I don't, I don't trip off of that because I feel like later on in life it'll probably come, it'll come, come yeah, back around. Yeah. Well, because now we got platforms where people are actually that's telling true. the story. Yeah, that's right. true. And you you brought it up. I wasn't going to say nothing. You said the Destiny's Child thing. One, <laughs> one thing I got to talk about, and we all, because we grew up in this, and it's so funny. I, I just want y'all pers- perspective on this. We've been in this a long time, yeah. and we've been, a lot, a lot of us have been single yeah. for a long time, <laughs> and, and have dated, uh-huh. and at a time, Y'all had every girl in the world loving immature. 
<laughs> they even wanted a little drummer boy, Romeo or Batman. <laughs> like you were on every girl's wall. Yeah. And then even when you turned into IMX and y'all was on some grown, we was on the Scream tour. Yeah. And and the list is long. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I, because I don't do this, because I've gotten, I've, shoot, I damn near lost my marriage to get running my mouth, yeah. <laughs> talking about people I done dated and all of that stuff. But we see these conversations. We're in yeah. this time yeah. of the shade room and stuff like that, and people bring stuff. How, like when, when you're dating past or, or knowing, because we, yeah. we yeah. know the story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when that yeah. comes up, how do you deal with that? I don't talk about it. I don't talk about just it. Just don't. I talk. See, you're a better man than me. <laughs> I, better man. I got caught out there running my yeah. mouth because I I got caught running my mouth once. Yeah, yeah. I, I learned and from And I, I was like, yeah. no, from everybody. I, I got caught in New, in New York. I'll yeah. never forget it. And I was like, nah, I'm never gonna do that. He's not gonna say it. Because because, because what I because our ego gets in the way. No, but yeah. what yeah. I know it's not, stuff. Yeah, and what I said. See, this, here's the thing about talking. <laughs> <laughs> People can twist what you say and make it sound like what it is. Yeah, oh, it's going to be a headline. When I did that, I was like, mm. I'm just not going to bring it up no more. Never again. No, really? Don't talk about it no more. See, you're a better man than me. And that's the, the next question I got to ask. And it's more of a real question. Yeah. Knowing that the, the world that we're in right now, we are in the world of, of sound bites and, yep. and headlines yep. and, and, and clickbait. Yep. Um, coming out once again, is immature ready to to do this? Because we friends, so this, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a safe zone. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's you. You go talk to Charlemagne, or yeah. you go talk to any you know the yeah, guys that's looking. Yeah. Like, are y'all ready for that? Um, yeah. I mean, I think you gotta you, you gotta be prepared for anything. Really, yeah. even if you're not ready, you gotta be prepared. I think more so it's. That's why Cause they gonna be trying to push your buttons. They gonna and, be trying to ask all and, of the questions no and buttons. the rumors. I don't even know buttons. Yeah. Really, I, I got yeah. buttons. But <laughs> he, he, okay, so, that's what he so wants. Hot, no, real like hot headed one. Yeah, is wrong. That's so all right. y'all interviewing <laughs> immature. It, that's Keep the, the questions one. over here. Y'all yeah. mess with wrong. Please, it's a real don't. nigga yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Keep the questions. Yeah. yeah. And Mark and Kelly. I've always been. Yeah, Mark always been. It don't matter what the situation is. I come in the office. I'll be hot going off. Mark be like. Uh, we just won't do it. Right. I'm like, nah. Like, I'm like mad. I'm like, I need you to get mad like and, me. And that's, like, that's another thing. I feel like, like nah, I don't gotta do your interview. Yeah. I don't, and I, I don't need you. I don't need you to question me or grill me about anything. And if yeah. you're going to, I'm, I'm gonna have you know answers for you. But I don't. I don't really need. You know. I don't. I don't want to put myself out there to where the negativity because everybody's like negative press is still press yeah no nah, that's not true I don't need your press I'm trying yeah. to be that diplomatic but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it and I saw, I saw on something really classy you did I think I don't know if it was you or Chris but I remember the, when the, the Millennium Tour was announced and you know everybody had this yeah, yeah. stuff they had to say uh -huh. and then I think the, the, the comment or the post was like yo you're a fan just go enjoy the yeah, show that was yeah. Chris you know what yeah, I mean he, he said yeah just 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 Focus on enjoying the show. Yeah, they're back together. Yeah, be be happy they're back together. Y'all can go get an experience. Right, get all of us. And, and so is so is that really the the mantra? Of like, yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. that's that's the message of like Definitely. forget what you heard. All of that yeah. the, the rumors and the craziness. It Just ain't go true. Enjoy None the of show. it's true anyway. Like you know, people sometimes uh, people will do anything for attention and press. Right. Like some people really do believe even bad press is good press. Right. All press is good press. Right. Bad are good. I don't believe that. Some people do. And I'm like I said, I'm not here to talk about any of that, but I'm just yeah. saying some people feel like to keep themselves out there, they'll just do, say any just say whatever. You right. know, I've seen it happen to me, I've seen it happen to other people, I've seen it happen to you. Yeah. People absolutely. just cause they want cause they feel like, oh, if I can attach myself to this person, I can get hot again. I could I could drop an album. Or yeah. can, you know what I'm saying? And they they'll do what they're not really concerned about anybody's personal feelings or, or or any of that it's just like that it's just like I'm, i gotta get it and get myself out there so yeah that's what it's that's really what it comes down yeah. to a lot so it's like you know at this point yeah it was like you know they're going on tour enjoy it yeah and you now y'all going on tour yeah enjoy it, enjoy it. <laughs> you know so got kids those got four kids yeah you know what i'm saying he got that's a beautiful. He got a grandbaby his yeah. daughter just had a baby nah. you know what i'm saying everybody's and that's what i think I, and that's not even even wrapping it up and like i feel like it's spiritual warfare yeah. at the end of the day. And yeah. that's what we've always been in this. And to say that you guys have been individuals that are always operated on a higher frequency. Yep. And then that low frequency energy can get in there. And mm -hmm. that's yeah. that, ooh, oh, I just need yeah. attention. I have yeah. my yep. ego and all that. Yep. And when those two worlds mix, 
people gravitate to the lower frequency That's because true. it's easier to get it, it there. Is. It's it harder is. to raise the yep. bar and to be up there. So yep. for you to handle it in that in that sense, and even that's why I was like, yo, if you focus on the positive, only yeah. positive can occur. That's it. Mm -hmm. And and that's why I said having a safe space, yeah. having a place where guys who like, yo, man, I ain't talked to you in a minute. Like, yeah. like people, I feel like people will enjoy an interview like this yeah. more than. Some gossipy stuff, yeah, or gossipy something. or what you got to promote or what you know. what I'm saying sometimes it's just about conversation. But you got to be able, you got to have those spaces, and yep. not to say that yo, those other people got to do their jobs. Yeah, they do. And, yeah. You know, shouts out to the shade rooms and yeah, all of that yeah, type of stuff. Up. But no, everybody got to make money. Job. Yeah, yeah, but to be able to have a place where young black men. Kings can sit and have conversations with yeah. Kings and and I've had you know everybody before y'all was in here Nori was in here Snoop Dogg Ice yeah. Cube oh. and to be able to have something where like yo man we can just sit here and chop it yeah. up talk about old times yeah, talk about yeah, how we exactly. used to get down yeah. I think we're at that age now where not only will the fans appreciate that yeah. but to say man it's good to see these brothers doing good that's true. it's good to see and that's the reason why you want to go out and see the show yeah. and check it out so needless to say what what else can they see man what, what what's the uh, we're gonna definitely put on a show like yeah. we, we definitely we coming yeah, with we it talked about Making it like how it was back in the day. Because so I used to have a production. Right like, yeah, yeah, no, we, we, we it, definitely, because we can't do it. Because we, and we talked about that too. Because at first I was like, well, you know, we should do it a little smaller. Ron was fighting me. He's like, nah, we got to dance. Yeah. I'm like, Ron, we, we too old to dance. And he's like, nah, I'm, I'm telling you, everybody expects this. You know, yeah. we got, I'm like, all right. Because so. even y'all music videos was next. That was yeah. the, y'all never got the credit as having just as dope music videos yeah, as the yeah. Hype Williams and all yeah, of that. Like, all, all of that. Saying, you know, I mean, because it was all family. Shouts out to Harvey White, you know. Oh, Harvey, yeah. Yeah. Harvey. Everybody, you yeah. know what I'm even like starting remixes, yeah, like remix videos, all of that. Like we used to do the remixes and the remix videos, and everybody was like, you know, remixes, and we was like, man, for real, y'all. So, yeah. <laughs> but y'all just gonna keep it going. I think and people got to know that, man. That yeah. it's gonna be a show when they go see the Immature Show. Definitely. And what's the name? The name of the tour? TB Tour. Yeah. The name of the tour. We um, you know, what I'm saying December seventh. December seventh. We in Beach. LA, Long Beach. There it know. is. Come on out. It's been an incredible conversation, but I can't let you go, y'all. See, I got the bulletproof vest on, <laughs> and we appreciate the flowers you gave to us. Oh, it's yeah. the first time we ever got some recognition. Nah, yeah, that's yeah, a, I, really I, I got to do it, man. Y'all deserve it. Congratulations to you, too, man. Oh, Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah, you're doing yeah. Young things, entrepreneur man. out Good there, looking. man, doing your I, super hey, surprise. I, I learned for y'all, man. We came up together, and this, I can only continue to, to carry it on so we can have these type of platforms. Definitely. But I ain't letting y'all off that easy. It's called it's called the firing squad. <laughs> okay. I got it, okay. quick questions off the top. All Just right. answer real quick, <laughs> and we say it is. First question off the top always, loved or feared? Which one would you rather be? Loved. Loved. <laughs> wrong like fear. You, are, you already know his answer. Fear. Go ahead. Fear. Exactly. <laughs> Understood. Uh, speaking of fears, what's your greatest fear? Uh, drowning. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. Drowning. <laughs> drowning. Um, being somewhere claustrophobic. Oh uh, yeah. Like yeah. Oh, they Elevators. Call that, they call that prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Favorite movie of all time? Avatar. Re really? Yeah. Of all time, Mark. Avatar, shouts out to well, James Cameron. One of them. That's the one. I, if you only can watch one. If I can only watch one. Avatar. It's, I mean, it's yeah. what the second highest grossing movie yeah, of all yeah, time. Yeah. A lot of reasons why, but yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's a great story. It's yeah. Just Pocahontas with blue people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boys in the Hood. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> I like fun. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, I'm going to get you, sucker. Oh, no, wow. That's a solid one. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right. All right. Um, best piece of advice you've ever received? Stay humble. Mm. Mm, hustle like you broke. Mm. Mm. Keep being you. Yeah. Worst piece of advice you ever received? Shut <laughs> up. That's a list. Man. Uh, cancel your credit card. Oh. Mm. Like don't stop using it. Don't like just bad advice. Bad advice. <sighs> I will say the worst piece of advice I ever got was to um like it was like it's it's kind of like buy what you want. Like if you mm. got it. You, you can spend it like right. you gotta just go go ham. Yeah, right. right. Just, I think yeah. the same person gave us that. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Spidey senses is tweaking. Yeah, but yeah, that. You yeah. Know? yeah, all right, all right. That's all right. We go. Never listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. You're on the island. You only can take three things. What you taking? I'm taking uh, water. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> um, 
Does the phone work? Can I yeah, you take whatever. It's you. It's your phone, island. My phone. You can, you can see it as you stranded or it's a vacation. Whatever. <laughs> my phone, some water, and food. Mm. Kel, what you taking? I'm definitely going to take some food. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I need my phone? I'm on the island. Yeah, I'm going to take my phone. <laughs> you don't want to get away from the technology? Uh, I, can, I, mean, <laughs> I, I need that. that. I got <laughs> business to handle. Then my last one is... I'm going to take some ball family farms. Daniel. Hey, hey that, that, that good. He taking that good with him. Bro, what you taking? Uh, I'm taking food. One of my pits. Okay. I, I don't trust nothing in the <laughs> woods. It's nothing. I need one of my dogs with me. And for the third, do we got a house where I was like, whatever you want. It's up there. Um, take your whole house. Take my whole house where I take some. <laughs> I don't like bugs. I can't do it. So. There it is. Understood. All right. Um, oh, this is a good one. Childhood celebrity crush. Since y'all was everybody's Wait, childhood see, okay, celebrity so crush. I got a couple of those. Uh, yeah, let's now go. I have a couple. So my first, my first, first crush, I was six years old, was Tina Turner. Whoa. Yeah. All right. That boy yeah. was going. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the mold. Yeah. Wasn't going to be my last. <laughs> All right. But it was my first. So. All right. Uh, how young were we? When, I mean, it, that's what I'm saying. See, y'all, see, y'all were at the uh, age where you can actually <laughs> holler at your your childhood crush. Uh, T. Boz was another one. Really? That was a, okay. Yeah. Who's my? Celebrity? So you was with T. Boz in the movie that she yeah. know you had a crush on her? Nah. Uh, mm. yeah. <laughs> like, give me somebody. <laughs> <laughs> give me somebody. Who, who I like? <laughs> I don't know if I was like that when I was like, you know. I was like Janet Jackson, Halle Berry. Like, I got a chance to marry one of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely had a crush on Halle Berry. But I think everybody did. I say for me, Tatiana Ali and Chili. Yeah, that that look. You like that? You like that chocolate curly look? She likes to get with Tatiana. So let's not talk about that story where you blew that with Tatiana look. I lost it. I lost the number. Oh, and I blew it. it was no social media, so I couldn't blew slide it. back. In That's the when you had to write it on the paper yeah, yeah. and blew, blew it. And oh, lost man. it. Blew like, it. Blew it. Blew it. Finally, get, finally saw blew it. it. Yeah. Blew it. Yeah. Blew it. He fumbled the play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're trying to think. We got. We did Childish Celebrity Crush. We're trying to think. Uh, one album that you can listen to. Mm. Only one for the rest of your life. What's that album? Thriller. Ooh. Always. Is Thriller better than Off the Wall? To me, it, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Better. I don't I know. Say it's better, but if I had to choose between the two, yeah. Thriller for sure. Kel, mm. one album. I love Jodeci. Oh, the first one? Uh, first one uh, the Diary of Matt Banner, the or, first no, one. You, you Forever My Lady. Forever My Lady, probably. The one with the, um, you and the, what was your song that, uh, uh, I'm still waiting I'm, I'm still waiting. Still that's the way to uh, you to come. That, back. Oh, that's that joy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's that joy. Yeah. Uh, Wrong with you. I'll tell you, you taking some hardcore hip hop <laughs> shit. <laughs> you don't know me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dang, now I don't even want to say it. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and say it. Doggy style. Absolutely. Yeah, now, hey, yep. that might be mine too. Yeah. One, I, I might, it's either it's mad random. Uh, <laughs> either like a Stevie Wonder song as a kid life or Doggy style. Don't probably yeah. be my junkie. Yeah. yeah. One Crazy. of those. So, one last word to describe immature Humble. There you go. That's it. I'm with that's that. It. I don't know what, what you think. Nah, that's right. it. That's yeah. it. Take that to the bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's go. been one of the illest conversations I had. Nick Cannon mornings. My brothers in the building. Immature, much success on the yeah. tour. Appreciate Good to see y'all. So much. Love, love. That's how we brother, do. Man. It's Power 106, y'all. Power 106. Yep.